Left my mother's house at 14, grew up in the streets. A lot of my homeboys was engaged in the drug trade. Got in a lot of trouble and um, ended up in um, state penitentiary where I did 12 years, six months. I um, grew up on the south side of Chicago, Inglewood uh, area. I grew up in the gang. I was arrested on drug conspiracy. I came home in 97. I met Rami in 1998. We talked about it often. Many, many conversations came up about opening up a center or a place where the brothers coming home would have where they could come help transform. I come home, there was a brother that was that I had met when I was in Leavenworth. We started to build together and stuff, but he told me about Iman. They have a program for what they call the Project Restore. It's a program designed to help ex-offender Muslims coming home from prison. The house that we moved in was actually a vacant house. The gangs had taken the house and they was using it like a clubhouse. And so we worked with those brothers and the house has been turned into a real transition and a community asset. We've been able to take the brothers and we named the project Restore because we're trying to restore brothers to humanity. We try to deal with it from a holistic view. We help each other unconditionally. You know, we, we, we teach each other. And it's not to the point to where if someone try to correct me, I'm like, ah, oh, here we go. Or if I try to teach them, they're like, oh, here we go. No, we genuinely want to know because we know that because you love me, you're telling me this. I knew that it was essential for us as Muslims to open up a transitional house or trying to help brothers coming home making this transition because I know how difficult it's going to be. The problem in the streets I helped create. So the solution I want to help create too. Iman is, 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 is truly, truly, truly a gift from Allah and this community appreciates that. Iman played a pivotal role for me because I knew that by helping other people you learn to help yourself. So by that Iman became, in many ways, my redemption center. I know people was going to think when I come home from prison that this is just uh, um, just something for now, you know. After a while, it'll wear off, you know. He'll be back to his old self. So to keep myself grounded, I wanted to surround myself with the Muslims and, and do what the Muslims do. Project Restore have a proven track record of 100% non-recidivists. That means that no one who has came to this program, stayed in this house, has been locked back up and have any more encounters with law enforcement, period. Now more than ever, Project Restore is essential to a community as well as national level. We need these homes to stabilize the community. Who better than the people who once engaged in destroying the community can better show and teach people how to clean the community. This is the holy month of Ramadan. Muslims around the world should support Iman efforts to develop Project Restore houses throughout the community and throughout the nation, if not throughout the world.